Several employees are suing Los Alamos National Laboratory over a recent COVID-19 vaccine mandate. As our Brianna Wilson explains, they're accusing leaders of multiple constitutional rights violations and claim the lab is not honoring religious exemptions. This all started in August when Los Alamos National Laboratory, like many other companies, said it would require all of its employees to get vaccinated against COVID-19. The deadline, October 15th. One of the attorneys on this case, Angelo Artuso, tells us that Lanel has been more accommodating for employees with medical exemptions than religious ones. In other words, Los Alamos National Labs has recognized that they have sincerely held religious beliefs that prevent them from taking the vaccine or getting the vaccine, has offered a one-size-fits-all, use up all your vacation time if you have it, and then you go on leave without pay. A federal lawsuit filed Friday accuses Lanel of religious discrimination and violating employees' right to equal protection under the law, among other things. And we're asking the court to issue a temporary restraining order to keep Los Alamos from putting uh, my clients, as well as other employees who've been granted a religious exemption uh, on leave without pay. Two weeks ago, more than 100 lab employees backed a legal challenge at the state level. A judge denied their request. Nartuso says the employees he represents may have a better shot in federal court. We draw some comfort from the fact that a federal judge in Tennessee uh, about two weeks ago did issue a TRO and an injunction against Oak Ridge National Laboratories. A hearing on this case is scheduled for Friday. We reached out to Los Alamos National Lab for comment on this lawsuit, but did not hear back. In a statement from October 15th, a lab spokesperson said, a lot of thought went into the decision to mandate the vaccine and the safety and health of Lionel employees remains their top priority. This is more of a, a human story than a struggle over the law, at least in my mind. And this is about real people who are being affected by decisions made by an employer that do not find support in the law and frankly, as a matter of common sense, are just unnecessary. Brianna Wilson, KOB4.